Hello everybody, Nerd in Texoma back with another normal video for me after I'm sure y'all might have gotten tired by now of my uh, videos about my trip to Harrison recently and all the hype about that. I was just kind of excited because I haven't seen a lot of those folks in about six or seven years and some of them I've just met with this trip so uh, I was really excited about that but I'm back to my regular goofy content I guess you would say uh, this is a figure that I picked up on my travel to Harrison uh, found it at a discount which is always helpful for me especially when I don't make a lot of money <laughs> but this character is named uh, I'm probably not pronouncing it right but it's my pronunciation so Deal with it. <laughs> it's either Ferric or Ferric. I prefer Ferric. Could be saying it wrong. I'm not sure. Now this is a repaint of the Cyclonus figure into a BotCon exclusive figure. Now of course this is not the BotCon figure himself. This is just a mass retail version of the BotCon figure. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to have a convention exclusive in hand that is not a convention exclusive. Kind of like that, uh, Onyx Primal knockoff Onyx Primal from a while back, but uh, this one's easier to find. <laughs> like I said, this is based on the. Oh gosh. This is the Legacy United. So it was the Kingdom Cyclonus, I believe still pretty cool figure it's pretty much exactly that cyclonus figure just recolored and slightly retooled because i don't believe cyclonus had these cutouts on his wings there and i'm fairly sure he didn't have the wing tip missiles uh transforms just the same you know just an extra step from flipping down that wing panel there you can see that one's up but I'll flip that one down you know transform is exactly the same uh, one thing I think it was I think the character Ferric was a oh gosh what was it it's kind of a non-aligned character at times but he is aligned more with the Decepticons uh, Star Raider I believe The original BotCon figure would have had some Star Raider decals or logos on his wings there to show that he's a Star Raider. Uh, the original BotCon figure also did include... Gotta get close up there. That Decepticon logo on his top of his head on his forehead this figure when you pick it up at retail 
has no faction symbols at all. That's a that's a little bitty Decepticon logo that I had from a Toy Hacks uh, decal sheet that I added onto his forehead to recreate that look, but I don't have any of the Star Raider decal, so I can't go further with it. But all in all, he's a pretty good figure, just like the Cyclonus. I don't have my Cyclonus with me at the moment to compare the two, but he's got a couple of different ways that you can configure his leg. You can see that way is kind of upper leg is back from the lower leg. You can kind of join it in. So it's a little bit closer like a regular knee. And as you can see that's the further back to make him a little taller. So you've got a couple of options on that depending on what you like. You know if you want a shorter but more stable or a longer leg and more imposing feel to the character. But he's pretty darn cool. I'll go ahead and try to do the transformation here online. Like I said, it's uh, exactly the same as the Cyclonus figure with just a few minor little tweaks and revisements or re revisions, sorry, because this is a different character and he transforms slightly, slightly differently. these up, stick his foot into his leg there, that goes down, same thing on the other side, flip that up, panel down, flip that down, and then this is where it gets a little kind of tricky because you got to wiggle it, Got to do one joint in and then another joint on his leg. Kind of fiddly, but it works. Uh, let's see, got to get his head out. Turn this piece all the way around until you've gotten this done. You've got to open up his chest and his back here, turn his head around and flip it into his chest. Then the nose cone can come out. And I believe I forgot another step. part of the nose cone, then snap everything back together, and I apologize for doing this mostly off camera, it's just easier to try to do it in this field of vision rather than try to hold it up here and then do it where it's visible everyone. I apologize about that. Flip his legs in there. Flip his arm.
take his arm and flip it out, and then you gotta actually turn his fist around to close up back in there. Modern figures are very cool in the sense of they have so many flaps and pieces that pat that uh, fit in exactly to where they should be. But that being said, they're also a pain in the ass because if you don't get things tabbed in just perfectly, sometimes yeah, there's no wiggle room. <laughs> So you're sitting there fighting with a figure trying to get something tabbed into place which is almost done and then you're fighting with it trying to get it that last little millimeter to, tra to tab in and it's like it's not cooperating <laughs> thankfully most of the time that's not an issue most of the time these figures are made to where if you get the tab mostly in place uh, it'll kind of help you the rest of the way to get it in place sometimes not but here we have Ferric in his Cybertronian jet mode, which again, this, <coughs> this is exactly like the Cyclonus mold. Only difference that I remember is the nose cone here on Cyclonus comes out a little bit more, it's a little bit more pointed. Ferric has kind of the snub nose look. And also his wingtip cannons over here. Like I said, this has no faction symbols on it anywhere in vehicle mode or in robot mode except for that Decepticon logo that I put on there myself. Pretty cool figure I think. I like the alternative deco on him. Uh, you could probably get away with calling this a shattered glass Cyclonus for your collection if you wanted it or that uh that universe that in season three they traveled into and everybody's colors were inverted like on a negative from a 35 millimeter roll of film how colors are backward and light is dark dark is light kind of thing but yeah pretty neat cool figure. I just wish that in addition to the normal gun up here, they could have included the target master. Missed opportunity, but I'm sure some, whoop, some third party company will come out with a target master for him, or you can get one of the old, I think they called them Battle Masters, which was a Target Master, and just kind of repaint it and color it with him. His, uh, his Target Master was called Torpedo. So, yeah, you could just find a little Battle Master, repaint it into Torpedo, or... I'm, like I said, I'm sure some 
third party upgrade company will eventually come out with a torpedo for Ferric. But, hope you all enjoy it. Another Transformer video. In a long line of Transformer videos on this series. <laughs> Alright, I uh, will see you all next time. Have fun. Bye.